Voters elected 21 new council members in last week's election. One of those new council members will represent Council District 22 in Queens. It uh, includes parts of Astoria, Long Island City, and Jackson Heights. And that new council member is Costa Constantinides. He is uh, here now to talk about his victory and some of the things that uh, we hope to accomplish uh, in the months and certainly in the years ahead. Welcome, congratulations. Uh, Rocco, thank you so much for having me. It's great to have you here. So you were, this was an interesting race. It was a crowded primary and a crowded general election. You were one of five candidates. You got 66% of the vote, yeah. so pretty impressive. What do you think resonated with your campaign to get such a, a result? Well, we had knocked on over 12,000 doors. We had spoken to voters at train stations, at civic association meetings, you know, really reaching out to everyone. And our message resonated. We talked about making government work for real people again, mm -hmm. and that they, people had a fighter in City Hall. We talked about the environment and cleaning up our, our air quality. We talked about schools, talked about keeping our streets safe and, and cleaning up our neighborhood. Well, you know, even I think well, even before the primary, I think over the summer, you talked about this plan or the trash plan in Astoria mm -hmm. and the environment. And uh, is that sort of going to be one of your signature issues, you think? Well, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. That, you know, this is my job is to represent the people of our district. And these are the things that they care about. They care about keeping their streets clean. Mm -hmm. uh, they care about you know, breathing easier and improving our air quality and getting our kids out of trailers and, and keeping our streets safe. So these are all the issues that we talked about throughout our campaign and things I'm going to be working on right away. Uh, you mentioned you really want to get give uh, your constituents a voice at City Hall, make sure you represent them and make sure that they have a say in what happens over uh, at City Hall. How do you hope to accomplish that? What do you think that you'll be able to bring to the table as a fresh face on the council? Well, you know, working, I had the opportunity to work in the council for seven years, so how the institution works, but I've also been a Democratic district leader and a civic leader. So when government isn't working, I've been there to make sure it does. And I'm going to continue to do that as their council member. Uh, whether it's fighting against increased water rates or making sure our small businesses feel supported, uh, making sure our homeowners feel supported. I'm going to be out there fighting for them every day. Mm -hmm. uh, Astoria certainly faces some important issues uh, with the MTA. We we're talking about transportation a few years back. The MTA cut some subway service. We've heard over the past years uh, people mm -hmm. protesting, wanting that to be restored. How will you handle this relationship with the MTA and getting them to, to convince them that this, uh, this uh, subway service needs to be improved and restored? Uh, you know, that's something we've, I've been part of for a long time. I was part of all those protests, and I'm, you know, I was actually collecting you know, th hundreds of, of signatures with uh, local people in the community to bring back the service, and it still hasn't happened yet. Um, so I'm going to be fighting as their council member to, to talk to the MTA about uh, restoring service, uh, increasing service, and also making service more accessible. Um, so each and every person in our district can use the mass transit that we have, and they can uh, utilize it a better way. Uh, let's talk about development. Certainly Astoria getting a lot of development, Long Island City, of course. And when we talk about development, we've seen this a lot lately, uh, residents sometimes get upset because you need to have that balance between, you know, the development, the apartment complexes, the buildings, but also sort of making sure that there's affordable housing, that the, the character of these neighborhoods are preserved. How do you find that balance between all that? Well, I think it has to be a responsible development. It has to be contextual with the surrounding home stock. Uh, and make sure we have the infrastructure in place to support the development that's going on in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. I think the new Hallett's Point development is a good example of that. Um, they engage the stakeholders and the community. Um, they are going to be adding supermarkets and schools, uh, talking about increasing ferry service, working with the MTA to get transit, and really it's in, in revitalizing our waterfront. So I think all, when you're talking about development, um, that's a good model for, I think, for everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, I have to ask you uh, this. Uh, you are the first uh, person uh, outside the Vallone family to represent this district <laughs> since 1974. So you really are following a legacy here for, for so many years. So what is it that you hope uh, the voters get out of this, this, new, this new name, this new face, and someone who's not represented with the, the Vallone family? It's a oh, change yeah. now. Oh, absolutely. And you know, the Vallone family served the, the district with distinction for a long time, and, and we owe them a, 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 debt of you know, a debt of gratitude for their service. Uh, but I'm looking to being a, a, a strong advocate for the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. uh, I made two campaign promises uh, throughout my campaign that I was never going to lie to my constituents. And, if, and if from the minute I wake up in the morning to the minute I go to sleep at night, I'm going to work hard for them. And I plan on, on those two campaign promises not going back on. No surprise with a name like Constantinides, you're Greek, so, and yeah. of course, Astoria has a huge uh, Greek population. You believe that you're probably the first uh, Greek on the council, you think? Greek we, you know, we, we're trying to figure out the names. So it's, it's a little complicated, but we, we're pretty sure, we're, the, we're, we're absolutely sure that we're the first Greek elected from Astoria and the first Greek Cypriot. Uh, elected uh, in the city of New York. And those are two things that 
uh, I'm very humbled by and, and, and looking forward to making everyone in our community proud. Something else to be proud of, definitely. And Constantinese just rolls off the tongue. Right? It's like <laughs> learning off that very quick. Uh, real quickly, any, uh, any, <laughs> any committees that you want to be a part of right away? Or? Uh, well, yeah, I think that you know, we have many issues in our community. Uh, the environment is something I've been working on in the city council for almost six years. Mm -hmm. I feel I can be a strong voice uh, for the environment both in Western Queens and throughout the city. Uh, and of course, you know, looking at our city contracts and, and standing up for our parks, these are all issues that I care about. Yeah. Education. Um, so those are all things that I care about and I think that I can be an asset to on the council. All right. Well, a lot of work ahead. So and just getting started barely. So congratulations and appreciate your time. Look forward to speaking with you again. Rafa, thank you so much for having me. Looking forward to being back. Likewise.